in the previous section, a lot of the things that we talk about, talked about were qualitative ways of describing a solution. But how about the quantitative ways? Well, here comes the math again. So we need to be able to describe how concentrated or dilute a solution is with numbers. And so we've chosen to describe concentration most conveniently with the moles of the solute dividing it by the liters of the solution. And you'll get moles per liter and that's concentration. So concentration is moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Here's a question that we can work on and we can flesh out here. If you have 10.0 grams of sodium chloride in 200 milliliters of solution, what's your solution concentration? Okay, we don't have moles right now, but we can find them. And then we do have, well, we've got volume, but it's in milliliters. We need, it, we need to put it in liters. Let's do all that in one step. You might be given formulas in your course in order to do these calculations. I guess they're okay, but you know, you don't really need to memorize a formula as long as you know that it's moles over liters that you need. So look at this. If you've got 10.0 grams of NaCl, well, how do you convert that to moles? Well, the molar mass of NaCl is 55.85 grams for every one mole. When you multiply those two numbers together, which is really 10 divided by 55.85, grams cancelled, left with moles of NaCl. You got moles in your numerator. You want liters in your denominator. Well, I put the liters in the denominator. Now look at this. See, everything is multiplied in the one line, but you really want to divide by liters, so you just put it in, in the denominator here. In the numerator, just put the number one, see? So 200 milliliters there, but now it's moles per milliliter. You don't want milliliters. You want milliliters to cancel and leave yourself with liters. And isn't there 1,000 milliliters in one liter? Sure there are. So look at that one line straight across to be able to do it. And all you have to do in your calculator is punch in 10 times 1,000 divided by 55.85 divided by, again, you punch that in, divided by 200. And you're going to get 0 0.895 moles per liter of NaCl. And that's the concentration, how you find the concentration when you're given the mass and the volume of a solution. You're going to be asked to prepare a solution. And you're going to say, well, okay, um, that's easy enough. I'll just get the stuff and I'll put it together. And the teacher's going to say, well, wait, before you do that, here's the concentration I want. Here's the volume. You better find the mass of the chemical you need to weigh out. Hmm, okay. So, just remember, you can take all this information for this question, 300 milliliters you want of 0.455 mole per liter potassium iodide. What's the mass of the potassium iodide that you need to make the solution? You've got volume and moles per liter. So, volume, you can use that volume to cancel out liters here, leave yourself with moles of Ki. Once you have the moles of potassium iodide, you should be able to find the mass. So look how it's done. If you have 300 milliliters of that solution, well, you know, milliliters is, is great, except that you can't use it in the calculation. So we convert the milliliters to liters. Now some of you are going to say, hey, look, I'm smart enough to just write 0 decimal 300 liters, because I know that that's what 300 mils is. Good for you. You go ahead and do that, but don't lose your significant digits. You still need three. So there's your milliliters canceling, you leave yourself with liters, looky looky, and then I've got the concentration in moles per liter. When I multiply moles per liter after the milliliters cancel, now the liters cancel and I've got moles of Ki. Don't want moles of Ki, I want mass of Ki. And so what you got to do is multiply by the molar mass of potassium iodide, which of course is grams per mole. There are the moles cancel, and you're going to be left with grams of Ki. And when you punch that into your calculator, you get 22.7 grams of Ki. So that's a lot of grams actually to put into solution. Here's how you make one. 